Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some major news from the world of Avatar The Last Airbender that's going to change the landscape for Avatar video games as we know it. Recently, Doug Rosen, head of gaming at Avatar Studios, went on the Braving the Elements podcast to drop some big info on the AAA video game that I talked about in my last video, which you can see here. Now we have more info. First, it's got a working title of Avatar Ice Wars. And while that title might change, it definitely gives us a huge hint about the plot. So let's break it down. The game is set around a cataclysmic event, a natural disaster that triggers an ice age, reshaping the Avatar world in ways that we've never seen before. This opens up some fascinating possibilities for storytelling and world building. The only confirmed location so far is Ba Sing Se, the Earth Kingdom capital. But what other places will be recognizable in this icy wasteland? Could it be the waterbenders are the villains in this time since they have an advantage with the use of ice all over the world? The concept art seems to suggest as much as there seems to be a tribal group on the mountain controlling a bunch of octopus-like water, or perhaps they are summoning a spirit to aid them. I got more to say about the concept art, so let's leave that for a little bit later. One thing I'm curious about is how the Fire Nation will be handled, for example. Will it be the unified empire that we know from Aang's time, or will it be a bunch of war-torn island territories like we saw in the Smoke and Shadow graphic novel, which, if you're unfamiliar with, you can learn about more in this video here that I've done in the past. But for this game, this period is set a whopping 7,000 years before the time of Aang, so there's a lot of creative freedom for the game developers to reimagine some of these iconic locations. One of the most interesting reveals so far is concept art that seems to depict a fire avatar. Now, I know a lot of fans were hoping to choose which nation they start as, considering that this is a role-playing game, but I think starting as a fire avatar makes a lot of sense. Kind of like in Hogwarts Legacy, where you start as a fifth-year student. By starting with the Fire Nation, it could set up potential sequels where we play as avatars from the air, water, and earth nations. Just like in Hogwarts Legacy, where we likely will have a trilogy with years 5, 6, and 7, the last year of a Hogwarts student. Think about it, if this game includes RPG-style decision-making, the choices you make as a Fire Avatar could ripple through to the future avatars and sequels, kind of like how Mass Effect and Dragon Age handle decisions that carry over to subsequent games. It could be epic to see how one lifetime's choices affect the next, especially in a world as complex and layered as Avatar. I mean, that's half of the fun of the Chronicles of the Avatar series being told in novels right now. So let's dig into this concept art a little bit more. For one, we see a dragon which, again, might be referencing a fire avatar and the fact that a dragon might be our animal companion in the game. A great choice when you are facing off against an ice age and all that comes with it. Now let's talk about why this game is a huge deal for the Avatar gaming world. I think we can all agree that the previous Avatar games haven't really hit the mark. From Avatar Generations to Quest for Balance, most of them were pretty subpar. But this new game is being developed as a AAA title, which, for those who are unfamiliar with the term, means it has a massive budget and production values comparable to the biggest blockbuster games out there. Think Elden Ring, Red Dead Redemption, or The Witcher 3. That's the level of ambition we're looking at here, and something we've never gotten from Avatar before. And get this, Avatar Studios is directly funding the game and not just licensing it, and the original creators of Avatar The Last Airbender, Michael DiMartino and Brian Konitzko, are reportedly writing the story. Yeah, you heard that right, Brian even drew up some of the concept art himself, so we know they're deeply involved. This game isn't a quick cash grab, it's going to be an original story set in a new time period with all four nations involved. So that brings us to the game structure. It's confirmed to be a completely open world RPG. That means we're going to be able to explore the Avatar world like never before, whether that's traveling across the frozen tundras, trekking through the ruined cities, or navigating the remains of ancient temples. But there is some bad news. Don't get too excited too fast because we're looking at a release window of 2027 or 2028, and knowing how the gaming industry works, it might be 2029 before we actually get our hands on it. But the good news is that the game will be coming to PC and next-gen platforms, so it'll be available to a wide audience from the get-go. And while the game may revolve only around a fire avatar, Doug Rosen confirmed that you'll be able to create your own bender, which means you might get to choose which nation that you come from. I personally like the idea of starting as one locked-in nation, with the sequels being open on the back end for other nations, but I'm happy with choosing between all the nations as well. So Avatar Ice Wars is shaping up to be a total game changer for the Avatar franchise. We're talking about AAA production, open world exploration, and RPG decision making, and an original story written by the creators themselves. The potential is very high. 
So what do you think? Are you just as hyped for Avatar Ice Wars as I am? Let me know in the comments below which bending style you would want to master and what parts of the Avatar world you're most excited to explore. And check out this video on screen if you're a fan of Avatar. We'll catch you on the next one. And as always, peace, love, and remember, be water, my friends.